Mushrooms are one of the most popular and beloved foods in the world. From stews and soups to vegetarian dishes, or as a side dish to meals. But have you ever wondered how we can provide enough mushrooms to serve the needs of millions of people? At one of the world's largest mushroom farms, 400 million mushrooms are grown and harvested every year to meet market demand. Not only do these mushrooms thrive in nutrient-rich compost, they can also double in size in just 24 hours. But the journey from tiny spores to the canned product we use in every meal is extremely complex and mysterious. Let's explore the magical journey of mushrooms from planting to canning to see the efforts and advanced techniques behind this process. Mushrooms are a food with a history that goes back thousands of years. Edible mushrooms have been recorded since 600 AD, but it was not until the 18th century that they began to be cultivated on a large scale. Over the centuries, mushrooms have become one of the most popular vegetables in the world. Today, the annual mushroom production reaches over 200 million kilograms, an impressive figure reflecting the increasing demand of people. Among them, the small town of Pennsylvania USA has become one of the largest mushroom producers with a production of up to nearly 200 million kilograms per year. Pennsylvania, with a population of only 6,000 people, has been dubbed the mushroom capital of the world. The area boasts more than 60 mushroom farms, providing more than half of the total mushroom production in the United States. Did you know that for a mushroom to grow, it needs a very special environment? Preparing the substrate for the mushroom is one of the most important steps, and this requires a meticulous scientific process. Initially, the substrate consists of a mixture of organic compost, including straw, animal manure, and other organic ingredients. But to create the perfect compost for mushrooms, farmers must add chicken manure to increase the nitrogen content and add gypsum to improve the structure and reduce the acidity of the compost mixture. Only when it is up to standard can the substrate help the mushrooms grow vigorously. After mixing the raw materials, farmers will add water and transfer the mixture to special tanks where the compost will undergo a biological decomposition process. In the tanks, the air and temperature are controlled to create ideal conditions for the growth of beneficial microorganisms while promoting the decomposition of the substrate. This process is not just a matter of letting it sit, but requires temperature and humidity control to ensure even decomposition. During this process, the temperature in the cellar rises to 80 degrees Celsius to support the biochemical process, and microorganisms begin to thrive, producing a large amount of ammonia and heat to promote the composting process. After spending two weeks in the cellar, the substrate needs to be sterilized to eliminate any harmful bacteria, protecting the mushroom-growing environment from factors that can cause disease. The substrate is heated to 58 degrees Celsius for eight hours and then gradually reduced to 45 degrees Celsius. After a few days, the substrate is cooled to 25 degrees Celsius, creating an optimal environment for the growth of mushroom spores. Mushroom spores are the original seeds purchased from commercial companies specializing in mushroom spores, ensuring the best quality and growth. They are inoculated into the nutrient-rich substrate and evenly distributed throughout the compost in special composting rooms.
Each room holds up to 96 tons of substrate with optimal temperature and humidity control, allowing the mushroom spores to develop into a network of mycelium called a mycelium. During this period, the mushrooms grow in a closed and controlled environment where they are not affected by sunlight. The method of growing mushrooms on high-rise shelves, which was invented in the Netherlands, has become a popular method of growing mushrooms worldwide. These shelves are stacked vertically, saving space and making it easy to control the surrounding environment. The mushrooms do not need sunlight, but do require a humid environment in a temperature of 70% to 95% to grow. During the first weeks, the temperature is kept at 22 to 24 degrees Celsius, then gradually reduced to 16 degrees Celsius to stimulate mushroom germination. To promote mushroom germination, a layer of soil and peat is covered on the surface of the substrate. This coating acts to trick the mushrooms into thinking it is fall, the ideal time to grow and produce mushrooms. Within a week, the first mushrooms begin to emerge, and the growth process is very fast, with the mushrooms doubling in size every 24 hours. These tiny mushrooms gradually develop into full-fledged mushrooms with distinctive stems and caps. Once the mushrooms have reached the right size, automated harvesters perform the harvesting job quickly and accurately. These machines are designed to cut the mushrooms from the substrate without damaging the roots, ensuring that new mushrooms can continue to grow in just a few days. Harvesting lasts about three weeks, with a new batch of mushrooms ready to harvest every three to five days. After harvesting, the mushrooms are passed through a sorting conveyor belt, removing any mushrooms that do not meet the standards. Those that meet the standards are washed to remove any remaining dirt and soil. The mushrooms are then sliced, placed in boxes, and covered with a brine solution for preservation. Each box of mushrooms is hermetically sealed, preventing the ingress of air and bacteria. To increase food safety and extend shelf life, the boxes of mushrooms are then sterilized using a high-pressure autoclave. After sterilization, the mushrooms are ready for distribution to consumers. Through the journey of exploring the process of growing, harvesting, and packaging mushrooms, we can see the ingenuity and advanced techniques behind each simple box of mushrooms that we use every day. Each step is the dedication of farmers and experts ensuring that each mushroom is of the highest quality before reaching consumers. It is a story of the perfect combination of nature and technology, creating a pure and nutritious product for family meals. If you find this video useful and interesting, please support us by clicking like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any interesting content in the future. Thank you for accompanying and see you in the next videos.